Hi, I'm Michelle Vernet Hyatt of American Quilter Society, and we are here at AQS Quilt Week Lancaster. And I have the pleasure of talking to Betsy Colomart mm -hmm. from Potomac, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And she has created this quilt that is a double wedding ring. Yes. But you've made this for your mom. Mm -hmm. And so she gave you a bit of a challenge. She did. My mother uh, was a fiber artist herself and was making fiber art in the 70s. And so she knew something about quilting. And I asked her if she'd like me to make her a quilt. And she said yes. And I said, what would you like? And she got this really devilish look in her eye. And she said, I didn't want a double wedding ring because she knew it would be hard. With the curved piecing, <laughs> With the curved yes. piecing, yes, she knew that. And I said, great, what color would you like? And she got that look again and she said, oh, red and purple. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a bit of a challenge, but yeah, yes, you did great by adding some fabric with a little bit of green in right. it to kind of get you yep. to a triadic yep. color plan, which is beautiful. Yep. And now you named the quilt. After my mother, my mother was Tammy, and I named the quilt Tammy Makes Mischief. Because uh, she caused you a little I, bit of mischief. She caused a little mischief, <laughs> yes. I started it while she was still alive, and then she passed, oh, I'm and sorry. I put it away for a year or two. And then one morning I just woke up and I thought, oh, I know how I want to quilt that and I went down and quilted it, and so that was earlier this year. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> now, we are in category one, mm -hmm. so it's that you quilted it on a stationary machine, uh, for, mm -hmm. which for those of you, that means that you move the fabric. Right. So mm -hmm. then you went about um, getting it basted, and then mm -hmm. you, I'm assuming, broke it in to sections. How did you approach quilting it? Well, um, I had, um, I use ruler work a lot on my stationary machine, particularly when I want to do curves. So I had come up with a design that I wanted to put in the centers um, and I worked that out on paper and then I did the centers first and this is not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to have it all <laughs> planned out. But I did the centers first, start working from the inside to yes. the out and then I started playing around with designs for the wedding ring part. And I didn't want to just like, you know, do parallel. So my rulers came to my aid and I came up with some little designs to put in the, in the little eye area there and then in the rings. And um, they're not exactly precise, but I like an organic look. My mother would not like anything that was too precise. She was not so a she precise woman. So she would appreciate woman. it. Yes, yes. That's so, perfect. Yes. Yeah. You know, that's what it's meant so. to. So you, I think, are very similar to me, you, you know, with between templates and a sounds well rulers and templates i want to mm -hmm. go back to the construction of yes. it so uh you know double ring double wedding ring quilts mm -hmm. have their challenges with curved mm -hmm. pieces and yes. such you took the approach to use templates i did i used acrylic templates i actually um, before i did this i had three different systems of templates that i tried and to see which ones i liked and these are am i allowed to say the name yeah, marty, absolutely these are the marty mitchell double michelle, marty, marty, michelle, michelle. marty michelle templates and the reason I like them best of all of them is that on these little keystones here, they come to a point. They're not just squares. And, and I they thought took that, that was into just, account. So it sort of starts to make that little intersection into another kind of star. Perfect. So that's why I really like that. Well, I love how you put the solids up against Kate. I am a Kate lover myself. Um, and I think it gives the quilt a really nice place to rest your eye mm -hmm. and then also it makes it very easy for us to see the rings but yet still showcase this beautiful fabric so you did a great job in your fabric selection well, thank you thank you michelle uh, especially with your challenge <laughs> um, and so we you had one more challenge which was the oh. curved binding yes so yes. how did you approach that um i uh actually i used the traditional bias cut single fold um it was easy to do the bias because i was using solid fabric um, and I sewed it on the front and folded it. I always finish my binding on the back. I know people don't, but I do. I always, no, hand, I always hand sew on the yes. back. Um, I did my best at the little scallop areas. So yeah, that inner, inner yeah, curve yeah. Yeah, is yeah, always the toughest probably part. Probably about, you know, 30% of them are a little <laughs> off, but you know, I, it's, it's organic. <laughs> yes, and so this isn't your first time entering at an AQS Quilt Week show. But it is that this quilt's first appearance here yes, with us is. at it uh, Lancaster. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and do you think you're going to be submitting it for Daytona? Uh, I our next quilt well, week? Well, I might. I might submit it to Daytona. Yes. Okay, because our I'll deadline be is about. coming up. It's September 19th yep. for the Daytona Quilt Show. Um, we love it. We're glad that you shared it well, with us. You. And we're nice. glad that you entered it. And you too can enter um, any of our AQS Quilt Week shows. All of 2025 is open now for you to enter your quilts. The deadline for Daytona is coming up on September 19th, 
but we'd love to see your quilts. You can't win if you don't enter, nope. and even if you don't, it's an honor to be here and be a semifinal. Absolutely. So congratulations. Absolutely. I love it when I get into a show. Congratulations. Thank you.